my original plan of crafting a mask from scratch didn't quite work out, so I bought a cardboard fabric-covered mask and modified it. The mask had holes where the lips are supposed to be, so I used air-drying clay available at any craft store to form a pair of lips. I chose the air-drying clay because it requires no oven time, only to sit for about 24 hours to become fully dry. It does require being moist while you're working with it, so I recommend keeping the extra clay in a sealed bag and keeping a bowl of water handy if you're working with the clay for too long. For the detailing, I used an X-Acto blade and a toothpick. After I got the lips the way I wanted them, the next step was the rivets. I wanted to use the air drying clay to form these as well, but the clay wouldn't stick to the fabric on the mask. I ended up using hot glue and using the dots of clay to form the circular pattern that I wanted. I then cut the forehead and eye holes to match my source image and sprayed it with a coat of car primer. This revealed the fabric underneath turning fuzzy because of the paint. I put a thin layer of air dry clay across the entire surface of the mask, making it smooth. I then put another layer of the car primer on it, and then put a couple of coats of the gold car detailing paint. This gives it a great shine, a nice smooth finish, and with a final layer of triple thick clear coat, the mask was complete. For more information on how we make our crafts, check out the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.